All right, we're going to try a new betas pattern. This is the clear choice betas in olive. Um, it's using a, a new innovative body material that I have uh, called the clear choice bodies. Um, do them in a number of different sizes. Uh, this one is going to be towards more of the blueing olive or smaller green drake um, hatch. So we're going to start out. Um, this one's going to be towards a more of a blueing olive or um, olive betas. This is a size 18. Um, this is a straight eye caddis and coronamid hook from um, MFC with a gold tungsten bead to match. Uh, we're going to start out with a little bit of 6 aught dark olive thread. I like the 6 aught because it bites into this body material and makes it um, really secure. So we're going to take this down towards the bend of the hook and, and bring in our clear choice bodies. Now, what you notice about the clear choice bodies is that um, unlike other bodies that maybe have a, a similar level of high segmentation and translucency, you can actually put microfibits through these and, and make split tails with these. So I've taken uh, a, a group of microfibits in olive and I'm going to uh, adjust those to the appropriate length and then I'm going to butt them up against the bead. So you just take your nail, push them up on the bead a little bit um, and secure those down in between the coils and when you're securing these down inside the coils it's actually locking in those micro pivots as well so you're you're tying on in the body since it's a coiled material uh, you're tying it in on the bottom of those bodies but you're also tying in the micro pivots at the same time so we'll cut off those extended ends there um, and it, it gets nice and secured no need to glue it or anything you can split up your tails if you if you would like to um, we're going to Put our wing case material, which will also be our legs, which is a group of fluorofiber, and this is in black. And we're just going to take a group of fluorofiber and we're going to tie it in. We'll use that as our wing case. I like this material; it gives a nice sheen on the water, um, and it's really easy to to get our legs um, split evenly. Um, we're going to use some blueing olive colored super fine dubbing. I'm just going to Build up a little bit of a thorax here. I'm going to build that all the way to the to the bead. This is a really easy pattern to uh, match your hatch with. So many different colors of uh, dubbing and and uh, legs and fluorofiber, and then also I'll I'll show us how to how to color our bodies here. So we're just going to group the fluorofiber into a bundle and and bring it right over the top. Really easy at this point. If you want to make a split back, um, you can kind of pry those open a little bit so that the body um, coloration shines through. But we're going to tie them off to the side. We split that bundle into half and, and make our legs give us a nice clean whip finish over the top of those butt ends. And then we can snip off our whip finish, trim our legs. We're going to trim them a little bit longer than that wing case and, and thorax. And you can see that we have a, a nice looking betas pattern right there. Um, the great thing about this material is that you can use uh, your favorite marker color combination. Uh, I love the Spanish olive copic markers. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color that material in there. But because it's a hollow and a coiled material, that ink is gonna sink down into that body. And it's gonna give a translucent um, body segmentation that has a coloration all the way through, not just on top. So you can, uh, you know, match this to whatever color your betas or your stoneflies or your um, drakes. Uh, like I said, I sell it in a number of different um, sizes. You can put a little bit of UV resin there on the top if you want to. Um, I unfortunately have a an allergic reaction to UV resin, so I I don't fish mine with with resin. But if uh, if you like that, you definitely can. Um, do them in a number of different sizes uh, for midge larva all the way up to extra large that uh, can do your stone flies. So I'll show you one of the midge larva here. That's the, the extra small. And then the small is great for your, uh, your next size up, um, which is kind of your 24s and your um, small betas, your trichos and things like that. 
Um, and then this is the small or the medium size, which is great for your um, betas all the way up to your smaller drakes. Large size is, is great for your larger drakes and maybe some of your calibatus and some of your wake patterns and things all the way up to your extra large that um, is great for your stone flies. So I um, want to thank Regal Engineering and, uh, and Whiting Farms and um, like, comment, and sub subscribe to the YouTube channel and everything that I can do for you. And if there's anything I can do for you, um, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, we'll see you on the water.